Now on Talking Solutions, Michael DeBari with Battleborn Hockey. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Tell me about Battleborn Hockey, because we all know this town has gone crazy for hockey. Oh, yeah, especially since the Golden Knights guy here, everything blew up for hockey. Battleborn, we've been around for a couple of years. It's mostly geared towards adults, but we do stuff for kids, too. Got new people trying to learn how to play, or their new skaters want to up their game, get a little bit better, they come to us. But we don't just do that. We focus mostly on the community. We do benefit games, we do charity tournaments, and we try and help as much as we can. That's (laughs) what brings you to us, is you've got some kind of a benefit game coming up. It's a pretty big event. I challenge the Jesters. They're a semi-pro team here in Vegas. They're pretty good. I believe this was their debut season, and they're crushing it. Hockey community out here is real tight. I'm good friends with the owner of the Jesters, Joe Magarelli, and I said, hey, man, we've got something going on here. I'll put a team together and make it a good game. I know some good guys, and I think we can beat them. It'll be a competitive game. <laughs> Michael, you mentioned that the town is so into hockey. We are. One of my coworkers right next door in Studio B, Larry Martino, who does afternoons for 96.3 KKLZ, plays adult hockey at night. And I know that we're all, as Golden Knights fans, we're going through a little hockey withdrawal right now. Wow. We need some hockey in the meantime, and that's mm-hmm. what you've got coming up. You sure do. It'll definitely help handle your craving for hockey. Hot weather, summertime, no hockey yet. It's not a bad way to spend a summer day. The event's at 4.15 over at Sobe. It's going to be a pretty hot part of the day. If you want to get inside, cool off in the rink, you can see two teams go at it, and you can do it all for a great cause. You know, you can really get out there and help somebody. I've got the poster right here. I'm going to make sure that this is also in the station oh, that's so awesome. people can see it. We're going to make sure that it's put on to our community events pages mm-hmm. of our websites. The <clears throat> event is August 3rd at 4.15 p.m. Battleborn Hockey playing the Jesters mm-hmm. in this benefit game for the Goldsmith family. It's Susan Goldsmith, correct? Yes. The stuff she's been facing is devastating. Yeah, People in this community are going to want to do what they can to help this family. It's absolutely tragic. Let me tell you how I heard about it. Me and Scott were on the same Facebook group called Vegas Valley Hockey. And this is a club for guys that, you know, they do pickup games and it's kind of like laid back, chill. You don't have to really have a lot of commitment. Where Battleborn Hockey has league play where you commit to a team for a season. Anyways, he made a post on there. It turned your heart upside down. You know, I felt so bad. It was a husband desperately reaching out for help to save his wife. I teared up reading it. Me and my wife, we've been together eight years, and I'm just crazy about her. So when I read this, I was like, I don't know what I would do if I lost my babe. I don't know. So I reached out and said, I really want to do a benefit game for your family. And he right away was like, thank you so much. He told me the story. Literally, we don't have enough time for me to sit here and explain to you all the different problems that came up in Susan's life. She has so many different types of cancer. Literally, for me to explain it, I'd put your listeners to sleep. There would be so many different technical terms. And now they're out of money. Everything that she has that's keeping her alive is deemed experimental treatment. Insurance companies won't cover it. So now they're spending their every last dollar. She's lost her hair. She's lost her breast. I'm not sure what else she would want me to say. I don't want to embarrass her or anything. I just want everyone to understand the struggle, you know? And it seems like she has so much wrong and so many issues right now going on with her that it's almost like a lost cause. Like, there's just no way. And that's what makes me want to help and fight the best I can for her now. Because I truly believe that she has a chance. I truly believe that if this community came together, like, you know, when we had that bad shooting, I was born and raised in this town, and that created a culture so much love from everybody. Right. It wasn't such a cold city anymore. Even though it was tragic, everyone opened up and like, hey man, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It was like love, you know? We are more bound together than we ever have been Mm -hmm. as a city. And knowing that and seeing that happen in front of my own eyes, I said, you know what? She's got a chance because Vegas can help her. Because this town has it to make miracles happen like saving Susan's life. Susan Goldsmith is the individual that we're trying to make a difference difference for. She has faced so many different cancers and medical disasters, terrible medical situations. But it doesn't sound to me, Michael, like she's giving up. No, not at all. She has such a beautiful family around her. Her husband loves her as much as I love mine. I didn't think that was possible. And his kids, they're such great kids. They do stuff for their mother that's pretty heart-wrenching. When you see a kid like Heath, great kid. He's a goalie out here. Scott's coached a lot of teams out here as well. They've all been real involved. And Heath's out here posting stuff. He's reaching out. He's fighting for his mom, too. And you never think a kid, I think he's 16 right now, 
sitting here, hey, man, please go to my mother's GoFundMe page and help out. That sucks. And the parents feel terrible that he does that, but they can't stop him. This kid wants to help. That's his mother. And the same with the daughter. The daughter's doing the same exact thing. So she has a lot of love and support from her family. And that's, I'm sure, what's keeping her going because she's a fighter. Right now on Talking Solutions, we've got Michael Debari in with Battleborn Hockey, adult hockey, also do some things for kids. And they are having a charity game against the Vegas Jesters coming up August 3rd. Is that a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Starts at 4.15 in the afternoon at the Sobe Ice Arena at the Fiesta. Are you selling tickets? How is this working to raise money for the Goldsmith family? You know what? Initially, I wanted to sell tickets. Susan didn't want that. She didn't want anybody to feel left out. Those are her words exactly, actually. She said, I want everybody to come, and I want everybody to be able to show support even if they can't. So it's absolutely free for anybody to come watch the game. I'm going to be at the door. I'm going to have some of my buddies that always help with the league and stuff. They're going to be at the door with some buckets. We're going to ask to donate 10 bucks at the door, but if you don't have it, just go on in and have fun. It's no big deal. So get the donations at the door, but you also have some other things happening. Gift baskets, raffle items. Yeah, a few items. Brooklyn Bowl Review. They're doing all of the Battleborn jerseys. We're coming out with some new official jerseys I'm pretty excited about. Wow. And he's also donating for the raffle two custom jerseys. One's going to be superheroes, you know, Marvel, DC. The guy's so creative. He's got great designs. And then the other jersey is going to be all villains. I don't know if it's scary movie like Jason Freddy Krueger or if it's going to be like Joker other guys like that so I'll be raffling off the two custom jerseys and some bobbleheads Chance bobbleheads Dave England bobbleheads with some of those playoff towels might have some value that was all donated from Club Z Tutoring also have a hundred dollar gift card Bolty Homes Bolty Homes yeah they've already been such a big help the aviators are looking to help out we got a little time between now and August 3rd when the actual event is happening but I'm excited to hear people like that getting involved and saying, yes, we want to help because this Goldsmith family and Susan, the mom, need our help. And the GoFundMe page, I'll make sure that I have the information and links on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with podcast of our discussion today. Right on. You've got a lot of stuff that you're going to be able to raise money with during Mm -hmm. this charity event. Who's given you stuff that you're going to be able to raffle off to raise funds? We have some Chance bobbleheads, Dave England bobbleheads with some game towels, some playoff towels donated by Club Z Tutoring. We also have some custom-made jerseys. We're getting two of them donated from Brooklyn Ball Review. One's going to be a custom jersey of like superheroes, and then the other one's going to be the villains. It's going to be really cool. We also have a $100 gift card for Speed Vegas. That's a really fun place. You can race around those. It's pretty expensive looking cars. And I imagine you've got stuff continuously coming in so that you have even more items to raffle up. Oh yeah, people are looking to help out more and more closet storage and designs. They're sponsoring half the jersey cost for us. This is such a great cause. It's for the Goldsmith family, for Susan Goldsmith, all the stuff medically that she's been dealing with. Medical! It yeah. takes you down. And she's at the point now where she takes the medicine that her doctor says, you need this. This is part of what's going to keep you alive. Okay, well, I need this for my liver or I'll die. But this is going to be to help me with the pain. I'll take that one out. You know, so she's taking out all the pain medicine that's supposed to help her with comfort so she can keep her son playing hockey. The sacrifice this woman's making. To and her save family, money. It's just unreal. Heart wrenching. Michael Dabari is with us with Battleborn Hockey. They've got a big charity game August 3rd. 4.15 in the afternoon is the time. It's at the Sobe Ice Arena at Fiesta up in North Las Vegas. Michael tells us because of Susan's wishes, the game is free. You come through the door, they'll be collecting donations for the family and Susan's medical bills. Plus, they've got stuff to raffle off. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Two ice hockey teams for all of us ice hockey starved fans during the summer. The Battleborn hockey team versus the Vegas Jesters benefit game for the Goldsmith family at the Sobe Ice Arena inside the Fiesta over there on Rancho. And it's August 3rd at 415 for Susan Goldsmith because this medical thing with her sadly has gone on and on. But the whole story, the GoFundMe page, everything. We're going to have all that on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a link to our podcast today. Now, Michael 
Anybody else you want to thank for getting involved? All the players on the Battleborn team and the Jesters team. Team Battleborn, every player is putting in $50 of their own money just to even participate in the skate. I want to say thank you to the guys, yeah, and everyone that's going to show up and help out. You know, I see how this community's come together, and this is going to take a miracle. It's going to take the community coming together to make this happen, and I, I got faith in everybody. We can make a difference. Michael Debari with Battleborn Hockey, talking about the Goldsmith family. One of the things that we do as part of Talking Solutions, we always ask, what can we all do to help you? Come show support and show some love. That's really what it's all about. Donate what you can. Help out Susan because it's pretty much at the point where as soon as the money runs out, the medicine runs out, she dies. Sad to say it. If you can't afford that, just show in love. That might be even more important than the money. Michael, are you still looking for more donations, maybe raffle prizes, gift baskets, certificates, or things like that that you can turn into more money for the Goldsmith family? I absolutely am, yeah. If anyone who's interested in helping out and maybe they have the means to do a little more, please get a hold of me. You can always reach me on our website, battleborn.hockey. You also see a link for Susan's GoFundMe page. So hit battleborn.hockey and shoot me an email. Let me know, hey, I want to help out. I can do this or I can do that. I'll raffle off more stuff. I'll meet up with you. We'll get creative. We'll figure it out. You'll take it and you'll turn it into money for the Goldsmith family. That's exactly what we're going to do. Every last dime is going straight to them. Michael, we're going to have all the info, links and everything on the Talking Solutions Facebook page along with the podcast of our discussion today. Am I forgetting anything? I want to thank the Sobe Ice Arena too because Wally over there, he runs it. He's such a great guy. He's helped me out just a a million times with these benefit games and he's doing it again this time. So thank you, Wally. Thank you so me and thank you and thank Beasley for helping me out. I really appreciate you shining the light. Anytime we all work together, we can make a difference. 100%. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It sounds like it's going to be a fun, nice, cool, air-conditioned August afternoon inside the Sobe Ice Arena at the Fiesta oh, yeah. for this benefit game for the Goldsmith family where Battleborn Hockey takes on the Vegas Jesters. Free admission. They're looking for donations. They'll have raffle prizes. They're going to raise money for Susan Goldsmith and the Goldsmith family. All the details, Talking Solutions Facebook page. Michael Debari, thank you so much for joining us today on Talking Solutions. Oh, thanks for having me. I really had a good time.